Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Uh, today got something a little bit different. So recently, well first off, stick around so you don't miss an opportunity to save money. Um, I was recently reached out to by this new company called KMRC, KMRC Model. Um, brand new American company. Uh, they decided, or they reached out to me and decided to send me a couple of their uh, afterburners to try out. So we got a couple of afterburners here along with one controller. So, a few things about uh, these afterburners that are really dang cool. Um, most importantly, I think, in my opinion, is one size basically fits all. So this one afterburner right here fits any EDF almost. Uh, maybe they, ha they haven't tried a 120 millimeter EDF yet. But I've got one for 80 millimeter e Flight Blue Angels, 90 millimeter F22. We're gonna try them out. Um, right now, I'm just gonna put one in the F22. Um, also, it's only 17 grams, uh, so it's extremely light. You don't have to correct your CG or anything like that. Um, it also doesn't block any of the thrust coming out of the EDF. So that's a plus, and it's also pretty dang cheap compared to uh, other brands. I was thinking about buying uh, some 5280 RC afterburners. Um, and I want to still try out one of those maybe um, because of the uh, blue fire. I think a blue fire, a blue fire would look pretty cool in this. Um, maybe someday. But it was going to be about 120 bucks for an afterburner in that and an afterburner in that total. And these right here are only $38.99, which is a pretty sweet deal. Um, yeah. All right, so this is important, folks. If you use the code 5 KBRC uh, with the KBRC all caps, just like it is in my YouTube name, but no spaces. So that, again, 5 KBRC. The first eight uses will get $5 off on an action burner. So I think we're about ready to uh, install this bad boy. Let's see how it goes. All right, so thanks to my neighbor for letting me borrow his... Uh awesome homemade pvc pipe uh airplane stand so we're gonna put the f-22 on it and see how it works uh, i'm gonna have to buy a stand soon guys or build one myself because i've been dying to uh <laughs> get one so let's put the f-22 on it and get one of these things installed all right so we're gonna install it uh first thing you gotta do is you're gonna take two provided zip ties you're gonna angle it with the wires, with the motor wires. So for example, in my F22 here, I'm gonna have the wires uh, run down towards the receiver. I'm gonna put it in a different hole though. Um, so basically I'm gonna put it right there in the middle. Uh, it'll fit perfectly and you take the zip ties, and wrap it around through the uh, air holes. One's gonna go through the yellow here, up around into that one, and the red up and through that one to hold it on, just like that. All right guys, so we finally got it on there after about 25 minutes of trying to get this zip tie through there with the um, yellow wire. I don't know, it's just this airplane I think, and maybe a couple more, but these wires are extremely tight uh, in these air vent holes or whatever. So that caused it to uh, be extremely hard to put in that zip tie, but I finally got it, um, so it is possible. The other side was nothing, piece of cake. So let's go ahead and feed this wire through the middle hole. I think I'm gonna try to go with uh, this hole right here. Try to put it in there. I'm gonna feed this wire all the way to the front. Connect it into uh, my channel eight, I think, is an open one. And calibrate this puppy, let's do it. So all I did was uh, just uh, take the outside of the EDF here and Casually set it down on my foam and dented it all up, which I didn't think of. Just simply putting this towel down and maybe preventing from denting my $620 airplane. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'll put it down here while I feed the wires through. All right, guys, so it's on there tight enough. Um, the afterburner itself, I did not glue it down. That is an option. You can glue it down a little bit, but the zip ties, it is perfect. It's on there. Amazing. Barely any play. I, I'm not worried about it. 
I got the wires fed through over the receiver because I realized, I don't know why I didn't think about this, but when you put it through that hole, it's uh, too open and too high in front of the fan blades. And I do not want something somehow getting sucked into it. So I refed it through the bottom here where the ESC is. And I think that'll be best, especially if you have this airplane. We'll do it onto the uh, Blue Angel soon and maybe another jet sometime. I don't know, guys. We will see. But all right, let's go ahead and uh, wire it up and try it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I have my KMRC LED afterburner in there. Uh, well, if I can get a good view there. Um, so basically calibration was, uh, well, first just how I have mine set up. I have the white and black wire to plug into the receiver. I have it on my channel eight up here which was uh, my only empty channel. So I go ahead, I went ahead and plugged it in up there and then I plugged the battery in and then I plugged the balance lead in and that got it to uh, start blinking, I think, or, well, I have it mixed first. I had to uh, mix it in with my R knob, okay? Um, I could not get it Y harnessed. Uh, working correctly into with the, uh, the throttle. So if you just follow the uh, the steps that are on the directions that I'll be putting on the screen here shortly, if you follow those and if you can get it set up with uh, an open channel, kind of like how the RC Informer did his, um, it will, I think it works uh, better because I could not get it with the uh, throttle channel. So here's my mixing right here. It's a, uh, throttle the auxiliary three with the uh the r knob um first rate 100 percent, second 100 percent. so basically you had to have uh the throttle okay throttle cuts on i had the uh throttle all the way up and then i put it down to about 50 percent let it kind of calibrate and initialize and it worked that time so my curve is one. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and check out the afterburner here. Sorry guys, it was a it was a long process trying to do this. Um, it had a bunch of uh, issues just with um, the Y harness and the throttle channel. I don't know if that was just for me and uh, the way my receiver is, um, but it definitely works. I just couldn't get it with the uh, Y harness. So that wasn't a problem at all, ladies and gentlemen. So I have it set to like 60%. So here it is, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Look at that, nice and bright. I'm not gonna let it go too long. So you don't wanna overheat it and have it melt. But um, yeah, this was just a setup video. Um, thank you KMRC for sending me this afterburner. I appreciate it very much and Soon we will be flying it guys. I'm hoping for a nice calm dusk flight at the airport um, Yeah Stay tuned for that So yeah, the uh, the installation was extremely easy. It's lightweight It's small small footprint leaves a small footprint. It does not block any thrust and it is held on by two zip ties, which is uh, really nice. Um, <clears throat> I only had a problem, <clears throat> sorry, getting around that uh, that one wire from the motor because it's just so tight in that uh, um, cooling hole. But it was easy, and it's not it's not expensive. But thirty eight ninety nine, use code five off KBRC, all caps KBRC, and uh, it's good for the first eight uses. So go get yourself one. So, all right guys, that's the uh, setup for the KMRC afterburner, uh, universal afterburner. It's pretty dang sweet. Um, again, I did have to uh, mix it with my R knob, but it definitely works now. Um, I don't know what it was with my Y harness into my throttle. Um, we'll see, maybe another day, we'll see if it works. Um, I got another one I'll put in the uh, Blue Angels soon. Um, so it'll look, it'll look cool. Here's the uh, afterburner, I'll show you guys. Just a little demonstration here. We're gonna fly it soon. I cannot wait.
Look at that. So, all right, guys, stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one. And yeah, can't wait to fly this thing. Stay tuned.